Hey guys! <laughs> My name's Jen and I make random art stuff. So I don't know why, but I have always wanted to make a book safe. Like a book that has the hollowed out inside and you can put stuff in it. Don't ask me why. But that is what I felt like doing. And I watched a couple YouTube videos on it and this is the gist of how to do it. <laughs> Although, it didn't really follow many of the rules. <laughs> So what you're gonna need is a book, craft knife, mud podge, a paper, and sandpaper. The first thing you're gonna need is a book that you're allowed to cut up, okay? I got this 365 dinners by Neil Heaton. Quite a gross book, actually. It's a lot of recipes involving pigeon in here. No judgment, please. <laughs> anyway, it's really old. No one in my family uses cooking books, so I was had free range to cut this up. Okay, then you're gonna need some mud podge, and you're gonna mud podge the outside. Okay, so step one is to mud podge the sides of the book where you're gonna do it to the outside of the book so just here this is an old cooking book because no one in my family uses them anymore so no one is hurt by the fact that I am cutting this book up yay so Mod Podge I had to re Mod Podge this book like three times because it kept popping up which wasn't a bad thing for me in my case because of the fact that I can't cut straight okay so I could like lift the pages and cut under them but I did struggle to it just refused but I think it was because I was using too small of a paintbrush in the beginning okay so I glued it down this is all solid um pretty cool pretty cool I did do a second coat though on this side and crushed it for another 30 minutes. Basically, you bod punch the outside and then you press it under something heavy for 30 plus minutes. So I did it for 30 minutes and then I checked on it and it was still kind of loose. But to be fair, I'm using the world's tiniest bloody paintbrush. So if you're gonna do it, maybe use a bigger paintbrush. I'm just using what I have in hand because I'm struggling. <laughs> You made it go. I have glued at the edges. So now I'm going to mark where I want to make cuts with pencil quickly. And it's going to make a perfect little square here because I know me and I can't cut straight. And then I will start cutting painlessly one page at a time until we don't, you're not the bottom. You don't want to reach the bottom. You want to reach about a couple centimeters before the bottom. Yes. And then we go to the next step. So then, once you've mod podged the outside, you're gonna draw some marking guidelines on the shape you wanna cut out, and then you're going to cut out. Okay, so you can make this any size. Obviously, you wanna leave it neat and frame. I, because I am useless at making straight lines, just did the width of the ruler um, on the sides of the side, and to try to keep it as straight as possible. Yeah, and now I can start cutting. Okay, so we're about <laughs> less than a centimeter in. Just gonna show you guys. Um, this one page I didn't think I glued it properly because it's coming up the whole time. It's very frustrating, so I'm gonna glue it down. But um, I'm gonna carry on cutting further and further into the book off camera because it's not very interesting to watch. So I'll see you guys when I have the certain amount of depth that I would like. I'm also using this really shitty fish knife because I can find a I'm calling it a fish knife, that's what my sister calls it, it's not actually a fish knife, it's just a knife. But, um, because I couldn't find my exact knife, so we're doing this the hard way! <laughs> but you don't cut out all the way to the bottom, you need to leave space at the bottom. Once you've cut out enough tiny squares, you are going to mod podge the inside. And then you're going to sandpaper it. Now, I couldn't find sandpaper, so I just used the Dremel and I dremeled the sides. And you're probably like, Jen, why did you spend so much time cutting it when you had a dremel at your disposal? This is true, but I kind of wanted to feel the sensation of cutting it individually myself. But yeah, I think it came up pretty cool in the end. Um, I lined it with some green felt because I felt it looked neater that way. Okay, so I'm actually all done. I um, couldn't find some paper, so I used a dremel to smooth out these edges after using the um, mud punch. So now I need to decide if I'm gonna align it. I think I am, because I don't wanna see this um, using the Dremel accidentally cut through some of the pages, so I would like to cover it. But yeah, otherwise it's all done. Yeah, all my hard work. 
Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below what else you would like to see me do. I post every Thursday and I'll see you all next week. Bye!